this was the future of mobility when I was just born and we haven't reached that point. The image from a magazine in the year 1957 has the subtitle title, Electricity may be the driver. Electric cars were there already at the beginning of the automotive era. The famous Ferdinand Porsche started his career with an EV built by Ludwig Lohner in Austria. In 1900 they engineered an in-wheel electric motor which we still regard as very advanced today. The full electric version powered by lead acid batteries has already four-wheel drive. In another hybrid version the rear wheels were driven by a combustion engine. If you go back even further we discover where the power source is of today's electrification. If the battery wasn't invented by Count Alexandro Volta, we would not ha even be able to start our cars. You may know the name Volt from the first groundbreaking range extended EV. It was released two years before the Tesla Model S and made it possible to drive electric everywhere. Here, uh, wherever you go, on vacations or driving in a hilly area, you still around, uh, arrive <laughs> without range anxiety. The name of the inventor is honored in the car's name, centuries later. The same happened to Tesla. The name is now known from the company making the Model S. But it came from Nikola Tesla, who invented the AC electric motor, now used in many machines. In automotive, the battery electric Model S uh, is seen as the machine that changed the world. When a driver once tasted an electric vehicle, he will be lost for the combustion vehicle forever. This was stated by Dr. Niemand from Audi, which makes the message even more credible. And here is Tesla again, but in this case the first name, Nikola. The Nikola One is the name of the first long-range 24-7 heavy-duty truck on the market. On one refill of hydrogen, this fuel cell electric truck can drive large distances or the whole day. Long haul battery trucks are the holy grail for the AV business, since they seemed impossible. But the new Tesla Semi is an illustration that the battery electric truck will be feasible too. Long haul trucks often drive for far away destinations, as the Nikola fuel cell electric truck can. But let's look at the business practice of pro trucking first. Most trucks drive with one chauffeur. The driver is the most expensive factor. It accounts for about 50% of the total transportation cost. Then there is in Europe the so-called driving time and resting period regulation. This demands that one truck chauffeur may drive only four and a half hours maximum at a time. The maximum distance is 360 kilometers. After that he or she must rest for three quarters of an hour. That's the long driving scheme we already know from the Teslas supercharger network. Tesla just copied this for the semi-truck which easily covers the scheme in range and recharging time. So in business practice the e-truck is in fact a very good option for long-haul trucking. While charging the driver does not need to be there and can go for a dinner or can take a nap. The real challenge is building the ultra-high power so-called megacharger network for recharging the trucks. And of course, 
also for the truck application there is the intermediate solution. This is the first range extended ever truck built by a Dutch firm Emos. With an EV range of 100 km, it can drive in zero emission zones demanded for city distribution. Using the onboard generator, the additional range is 400 km before a refill of the LPG tank is needed. This is practical as long as there are not enough ultra-fast chargers or hydrogen stations. What makes the car so popular and why should it be electrified now? It's the combination of individual freedom and maximum flexibility that cars offer for traveling. We like to travel or for already centuries on, every, on average travel time is about one hour per day. We will explain the role of three major technology disruptions. Positive disruptions to consolidate the car as for an individual freedom and maximum flexibility transport mode. It's about keeping what we have but in a better way and sustainable 21st century way. And attached to that we defined six zero goals which are important for the future business. The first disruption is electrification. This technology makes it possible to drive zero emission and in the future even zero energy. The second disruption is automation. This disruption is linked to electrification because automation of uh, electric vehicles is very simple. Automation can lead to zero congestion and hopefully to zero accidents. The third one is connectivity. Connectivity is again linked to electrification and automation. It is like Internet of Things. It leads to more sharing that avoids carring being uh, unused with little passengers or trucks driving empty. Altogether, this will lead at the end to zero marginal cost. Those are the very attractive six goals we should keep in mind for the electric car business. Timing and acceptance of those developments is crucial for the transition to future e-mobility. In these Gartner hype cycles, autonomous cars are still at the peak of inflated expectations. But electric cars are in the beginning of the real growth. It's accepted and grows fast. Car sharing is another phase. We are starting to be realistic about that. The nice thing of the time frame is that the developments are more or less synchronized. Currently, the three positive disruptive technologies are coming together in one decade. This has already an enormous effect in how the leaders in the industry think about the future. Ten years ago, it was all about downsizing the combustion engine and global production. The priority was very operational and conservative in on innovation of the car as a product. But now, smart electric vehicles is the top one topic in the boardrooms of automotive. And then, that means it's going to happen fast. Thank you.